bought. What a horrible word, isn't it? No, no, no. I, I'm not talking about la bunda. I, I'm not talking about el cucu. You know, I'm talking about bought. B U T. Pero, mar, aba, however. <laughs> but, B U T. That word that gets in between. In between our dreams and the rational reasons why we don't have our dreams. You see sentences like, uh, I would love to be a multimillionaire, but I'm a woman. I would love to be a business owner, but I'm too young. I would love to have a wonderful husband, fall in love, but I'm too old. Just filling the blank. Your desire, beauty, and the reason why you don't have it. Yes, you of course can tell me that your reason is valid. You are old. Some people tell me that they are old at 35. When my mother at 88 keeps going, keeps going partying. <laughs> Some things are true, like you're a woman, like you're a man, like you are from filling the blank country X, because I know that these videos are seen all over the world. These things that are true are really boulders that are stopping you from becoming who you really want to be. Because you see, that desire that you have, the dream that you have, you have it because it's yours. You are dreaming it. The dream is yours. You can translate this dream into reality if you decide to live it. This brings me to uh, this brings to memory the beautiful saying of Sai Baba: "Life is lost in dreaming, and dreaming is lost in becoming." Yes, Blanca, but how? How can I? lose my life for my dream I have to pay the bills I have to you know it's just very interesting we do not fulfill our dreams because we have the perception that we have to please someone else please the system please our parents I follow a, a, an entire career of a drift for 35 years, I, got, I was adrift because I thought that, that that would make my parents happy. And you know what? It made everybody miserable. Until I said, cut that cancer. I cannot explain this to anybody. I cannot explain that to myself anymore. And I decided to start asking questions. And it's very funny because you know that my gurus, Aristotle, Leonardo da Vinci, have been saying this for years. We have to ask better and more powerful questions. We have to ask questions that need to be answered with the way we live. Because they cannot be answered otherwise. Let's start simply, how much fun can I allow in my life? How much fun can I resist to have? Many people do not have a truly intimate relationship because when things are getting really good, when things are getting really fun, we push aside. And we do that with everything. That is wonderful, a story from a friend of mine. She says, do you remember when we were young I used to go to the gym, and after eight times of going to the gym, I started to see my waist, and I started to see my flat tummy, how wonderful. I wouldn't go day nine. Why? Because I couldn't dare to actually be beautiful, to be attractive. It was so scary. We stop ourselves. We do not allow wonderful things to happen. So ask yourself wondering questions, how much fun could I allow in my life? 
How much money could I allow in my life? How much love could I allow in my life? How much awesomeness could I allow, allow in my life? And you know, to make it even more complicated is how much magnificent of myself, how great can I allow myself to be? That is very censored. When you go to school, especially in high school, if you are the top student at school and if you know the answer, you are heavily criticized. I was bullied at school because I knew the answers. So I start keeping quiet, hiding my qualities. And I stop allowing greatness to flourish. I stop allowing my magnificence to show. This is very scary. It's really, uh, the way I see it is why they kill all the witches because they were showing their magnificence, so... <coughs> we have to change this programming. And the way to change it is by questions. Ask these wondering questions that you cannot answer, but just with your life. How much awesomeness I can allow in my life? How much greatness can I give myself permission to be? How much allow yourself myself to shine? How much goodness do I allow myself to give? Ask these questions. And just, you know, wondering. Don't answer them verbally. Don't answer them with words. Answer them with actions. Take just your next best action. Just a tiny little one. You know, in the beautiful book, The One Thing, they talk about the metaphor of dominoes. And they just talk about the fact that you can take one action, and then another action, and then another action, and they work as dominoes. If you have one consistent action after the other, you have tremendous power. That your domino can be tiny, but it can push one bigger one and one bigger one. And if you do the calculation, after very few dominoes, you can be moving the Eiffel Tower. After less than 57 dominoes, you can be moving something as tall as, the, as Mount Everest. Huge. So if you ask this question daily, how much wonder can I allow in my life? How much greatness, how much magnificence, how much love, how much fun can I allow in my life? You are going to start allowing your dream into your life, your dream life into your life. Just ask this question. So, did you like this video? If you like this video, please like it. It really means a lot to me. And it will mean a lot to people if you share it. Do you know somebody who is struggling with this horrible world, but share it with them. We want more people allowing their magnificence in the world because honestly, we will all enjoy it. We need more magnificent people in the world. And finally, I invite you to come on over to my blog and share what is what touched you? What is what you are going to do? What are you moved to do right now? Thank you. And I will leave you now reminding you to be all in.